Welcome to another episode of Wave FEA Tutorials. This is your host Mac and today we are going to talk about method to perform modal transient response analysis. There are two aspects which differentiate modal transient response analysis from static analysis. The first one is that the loading is a function of time and the second one is that the inertia is taken into consideration in case of dynamic analysis. In static analysis, the loads don't depend on time, but the reality is all loading conditions are dynamic and vary with time. If the load varies slowly with time, it can be assumed to be static and static analysis can be performed. However, if the load varies very quickly with time, then the problem can be taken as dynamic. The purpose of transient response analysis is to determine the dynamic behavior of a structure subjected to time varying excitations. The load applied to the structure are known at each instant in time. Excitations can be in the form of applied load or enforced motions. Usually transient response analysis is used to find out the initial or force response of the structure when it is subjected to dynamic loading such as earthquake or shaking of the ground due to nearby blast. Modal transient response analysis is an alternate numerical technique available in Wave FEA that utilizes the mode shapes of the structure. In order to compute the structural dynamic responses such as displacements, velocities, accelerations, etc., modal methods are suitable for large size models with initial conditions and many time steps. Let us jump right into the tutorials. Let us first change the units to English system. To set up the modal transient response analysis, right click on the analysis 1, click edit and select modal transient response from the analysis type drop down menu. You can see the changes in the analysis tree according to the modal transient response that is damping modal setup and dynamic setup have been added to the active tree. Let us now define the material from the command manager. Click on the material and select the material as aluminum 7075 heat treated T6 rod. The idealizations can now be defined. Click on the idealizations on the command manager, select shell elements and enter the thickness as 0.1 inch. We can now generate the mesh. Right click and edit under the mesh model. Enter the global mesh size as 2 inch and generate the mesh. Let us now define the constraints. Click on the constraints in the command manager. Select the wider end of the wing and apply constraints in all directions. In order to define the load, click on the load in the command manager, select the small edge of the wing and enter the load in FY direction as 1000 pounds. Also rename this load as shear load. Click on the new table under the transient table data, select time versus load scale factor and enter the data. The XY plot should look like the way it is displayed on the screen. We can now define the damping parameters. Right click on damping 1 and edit. Enter the modal damping value as 5% and accept all the other default values. Now define the dynamic setup by entering the time step as 0.005 seconds 
and number of steps as 60. We can now define the number of modes as 120 under the modal setup. As all the parameters have been defined, we run the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, edit results to check the stresses and deformations for different time steps. To see the max or min markers, go to the default settings under display options, enable the checkbox for max min on contour. Right click on the results and select display to see the max min displacements and stresses on the contour. Under XY plot, select New. Enter the node ID as 4495. Click on Show XY plot to see the displacements versus time plot at node 4495. This completes the tutorial for modal transient response analysis. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is your host Mac signing off. For more information, visit our website www.wavefea.com. You can also opt for a 30-day free trial of WaveFEA software by registering with us on our website. We will be back with more features and updates from WaveFEA. Thank you.